There is no natural reproduction of salmon in Lake Sakakawea. The fish have to be electroshocked to the surface, gathered and stripped of their eggs, which are then raised at the hatchery. This annual process is what keeps the popular salmon fishing project going. Some years eggs come easy, others, like this year, not so good. Ah, uh, not quite half. So, we, you know, we fell quite a way short of what we were looking for. Kinsler was quick to point out that biologists don't necessarily use the number of eggs collected and stocked as an indicator of a good year class that might be coming up. Rather, they count the number of young males that return. We know that when you stock the fish the following year, the males will come, some males will come back as one-year-old fish. And basically the number of males that come back as one-year-old is an indicator of how strong that year class is. Thanks to burgeoning smelt populations in Lake Sakakawea, the size of those returning males was pretty impressive. Those males were really nice size. They were averaging about five pounds this year. So that's a nice size one-year-old male and there was a fair number of them. So we're pretty confident that the year class from 2014 is a strong year class. The females that were collected in the spawning effort were pretty good size too, averaging around 11 pounds, which is the largest since the start of the salmon stocking program. The females that were out there were, were really nice fish and, and that was due to a strong year class of smelt that's out in the lake right now. Kinsler made sure to reinforce the fact that it is not the number of eggs collected and stocked that makes a strong year class. 2012 was really good fishing. The bulk of that fishing was off a stocking of 50,000 fish. So it doesn't take a large stocking to make a good year class. This time, Jensen, outdoors.